We're here at the uh, Hudson Research Center on the west side of Manhattan. This is a building that Taliesin has done several jobs. And now we're here to build out the top floor, the 10th floor, into another wet lab space. So immediately when this project came across our desk, our team thought that this was a great candidate to use several of these virtual design and construction assets that are available to us to execute this project with more precision and to deliver a better quality product to the client. Using the Dusty Robotics Field Printer is one of those tools. So we are in the process of doing layouts. Uh, we're not snapping chalk lines like we would typically see. Instead, we're pulling in the architect's remit file. So we are printing all of our layouts on the ground within a 16th of an inch tolerance. And we're able to do all 25,000 square feet here in about a day and a half. So behind me is eight weeks of progress. Our framing is totally complete. Electrical rough-in is almost done as well. One of the reasons that we wanted to use BIM on this project is because we have existing infrastructure to work around, especially in a building like this that has more services than you would typically see. So here we're in an area where the existing infrastructure that has to remain is congested. Um, we want to be very mindful about what we're running around it. This is something that is critical, is properly shown within the model. All of the existing infrastructure within the model is shown in red. We then removed and we hid within the model all of the existing infrastructure that was to be demoed and we pulled forward that demo so that way it's not in conflict of any of the new infrastructure that's going in. And so we expect now to see a lot of schedule benefits over the course of the next couple months throughout the install of the above ceiling infrastructure. It's been six weeks since we last touched base. You can see I'm here within the lab and we made a lot of progress. We were able to do a lot of this work out of sequence uh, because we modeled everything and everything had to be sandwiched so tightly within the space. So. One of the key benefits, as you can see here with all of our trades working in the space at one time, is the ability to work in a more parallel fashion rather than a traditional tandem sequencing. We have a lot of trades on site today. We have the electricians, mechanical, um, we have plumbing. So we have a finishing um, machine on site today from our carpentry team and what it's doing is it's applying a thick layer of compound and it, it's consistent with the same thickness in order to reduce time on sanding so we can go right into prep and painting the walls. As you can tell, we're fully framed. We are closing up rapidly, taping quickly. The whole job is moving pretty smoothly on the whole, I would say. We're back here and wrapped up at Hudson Research Center. Let's check it out. This project was very challenging and we knew that from the very beginning. I'm standing in a lab where we have only a few feet above my head, above the ceiling, to run a large quantity of MEP infrastructure. And that coordination effort is, is really tough. Our team took a very unique approach to the virtual design and construction process for this project, to model all of the trades and to capture the existing conditions and to translate those existing conditions to the field. And I think that it's evident once you peek above these ceilings and see the infrastructure as built and when you see the finished product as well. To innovate, collaborate, and elevate are the cornerstones to what we do at Talisman. And this project was a perfect example of that. We sought out new tools to put together in this collaboration effort to then deliver the best project possible. And in doing that, we're elevating the way that we build as a GC leader in the virtual design and construction space.